And what were you to Babuji? I mean, what were Babuji to you? I mean, how did you look upon him? He was my master. Apart from that, what what was the relationship that you shared with him? Well, I had a very close relationship with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, did you look upon him as your father, mother, brother? He sister? looked upon me as his son. And you? He thought he f- used to call me. Uh, he used to tell people also that I am his son. Mm-hmm. And he was very specific. He did not say that all, are, in a sense, all are his sons. You know, anything in creation is the father's. Mm-hmm. But on one occasion, when I think it was in Germany, when he was asked how many sons I knew, he said I have three sons. Then he said, excuse me, I have four partasajis also there. Mm-hmm. From your point of view, did you feel? The I never bothered to, you know, sort of compartmentalize our relationship. So what was he a platform for you from which you could see all other relationship of yours? No, no, I don't know because you know I'm not an intellectual. I've never been able to mm-hmm. uh, sort of define my relationship. Okay. It is like asking a wife, "What is your husband?" He's my husband. What else would you say? No, but then it would be only an intellectual mind. Or a mind where there is no uh, sanctity about the relationship, which should start cutting that relationship into pieces. He is my breadwinner. He is my provider. You know things like that. For me, it was a totality. He was all. It was. It is a relationship where we can also say he was. I mean, my master. In the sense that the physical form is no more there. But it is a relationship in which I say he is, because during that uh, tenure of our physical relationship as guru and disciple, it was possible in some way to interiorize him, so that when his physical sense departed, I did not feel the loss. Hmm. I mean, there was nothing to lose because the physical sense is like the husk of grain. Hmm. It's nice. the grain inside that matters, no? Mm-hmm. 